Hey everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to dive into how we can play surround sound DVD and Blu-ray discs from our computer and output it into our audio interface that we already have in the studio. For example, in the studio we have a 5.1 mixing setup and we're using the Universal Apollo with eight analog inputs and outputs. And our surround sound speakers are connected directly to the Apollo outputs and um, that's going to use full six channels. So um, we have to actually go into our computer and um, map out the full 5.1 surround sound outputs to our Apollo interface. So right now we're on a Mac and we have to go from our OS X platform into our utilities. And you will see um, audio MIDI setup right here and you have to click on that and this is going to bring up your window for your um, input and outputs of your interfaces and internal applications. Right now it's set up to built-in output and that's stereo so that's not going to work for our 5.1 so we're going to want to select our interface in this case it's the Universal Apollo and this is going to show you your inputs and your outputs. Right now we're going to just use the first stock analog inputs and outputs 1 through 8 for our surround sound. So we're going to go select the output tab and we're going to go down here to the tab that says configure speakers and this is going to show you your setup currently which is stereo left and right channel one and two and this is what you normally use for your Apollo to monitor a stereo mix so we're going to have to click on multi-channel when you click here this is going to show you a drop down of different um, setups for stereo and surround sound all the way up to 7.1 right now we're going to do 5.1 surround sound so we're going to click on that and this is going to bring up your speaker configuration for 5.1. Right now, it's set up automatically to this setup, which is 1, 3, 2, for the, which is wrong in the Apollo. So you're actually going to want to start with number 3 to configure this correctly for your outputs. So for the left front channel, you're going to have to do number 3 output. Center will be 4. Right front will be 5 left surround will be six right surround will be seven and your subwoofer will be number eight so you want to click apply and now you mapped out all your outputs to the apollo for 5.1 surround sound click done and now you have that configured you can quit out of that now the next step is you have to go to your sound preferences for your um, output so we're going to go to preferences select sound and Normally it would be selected to internal speakers stereo, but we want to select our output to Apollo. And then once that's done, everything's routed. So after you've connected your outputs back into the inputs of your Apollo, you can take a test file. I downloaded it off the internet. I'll give you a link in the description. And it'll do a test 5.1 um, sound generation um, for your channels. So let's play it. Okay. <laughs> 